Hello, this is Dr. Michael Myers, Professor and Chair of Health Sciences at National University in San Diego. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to make a box plot in StatCrunch and talk about the IQR and other descriptive related statistics. So we have a couple ways of plotting data to look at our data set to understand descriptively what the numbers look like. On the left of the screen here, you'll see the histogram. And again, this is quantitative data, interval, ratio level variable. So these are numbers. These are heartbeats. These are taken from the textbook example we use in our class from our Polite text. And on the right side is a box plot. So there, there are two different ways of looking at the same thing. So first is you notice with the box plot is you have this sort of width of the box. The width of the box here is actually the IQR. So it's 50% of the data. And we can get StatCrunch to actually show us what that is as well. So if we look at a data set, and I think I have one here, this is from our textbook again. This is 100 blood pressure data points. I know it's unexciting to watch me type in a video, so I've put these into an Excel sheet, but if you're following along on your own, you can type these in. So again, to get data into StatCrunch, I just click on the data tab, and to bring in the file, I'll click load from file and on my computer. I'll click choose file, and I believe it's sitting on my desktop, so I'll bring that data in. And I'm going to bring in both the, the 100 beat per minute or 100 subject data set, as well as an outlier data set that Polite talks about later in the in chapter three. So again, I got that in. I'll scroll down and click load file. First column, I've got this 100 blood pressure data points. If I scroll down, I just want to make sure every line in StatCrunch is a subject. So there's my 100 subjects. And then in later in chapter three, when she talks about box plots, uh, the textbook author adds these uh, the extra data points, which are outliers. So I'll show you how those are done in just a bit. To make these plots, let me go back to my sheet here. You just click on the graph tab and scroll down past histogram to box plot. Again, we're gonna select our variables. So in the first column is where I have these, those 100 blood pressure data points. I'm going to leave this default collected, use fences to identify outliers. And I can click on the, the mean and the median. Um, you can label them as well. But for brevity, I'll just click compute. And it'll make this box plot for me. So again, here's the range of data. Now, if we want to compare this numbers to what they are in StatCrunch, we can calculate them by clicking on the stat tab. Again, we're doing descriptive statistics. We click on the summary stats and the columns. And I'll select that first variable with the 100 points in it. I scroll down in the dialog box to this area and select what I want to display or calculate. So here's my N. I can hit the control key and click on the mean. There's the variance, standard deviation, but let's just pull out the median. We'll do the min and the max to see that. Here's our quartiles. Again, the quartiles are just the data split into 25%, so quartiles. And then here's the IQR, the interquartile range, and we're done. Again, I'll just click Compute, and it'll print out those summary stats for us. So here we go. Here's the median. That's the red line here. If I drag over these in StackCrunch, the block box plot will tell me what it's displaying. So there's the mean. And again, the median is just Q2, right? The median's in the middle, right? So 50% of all the values lie above that, 50% below. The whiskers here are actually just the range of data. So here's the minimum 55 up to 74. The whiskers are the range of data that are not outliers in our data set. Again, here's Q1 and Q3. So here's Q1, 62. If I drag over it, you can see the value there. Again, Q1 is 25% of the values below are below here, then 25% up to Q2, and then here's Q3 at 68. Again, 25% of the values lie um, above that. So that's how we get this plot. On the left here, you see it in SPSS. S. So this is statistical package for social scientists. Um, but the plot looks the same in StatCrunch, gives us the same type of information. Now, to see the outliers, I can just go and click. I can plot them right next to each other. I can click the options and edit my plot, and then I can go hit the Control key and select the second variable. 
and then click compute. Now this is where, if you look in chapter three, we've just added some outliers. So here's 40, 45, 50, which would be low for pulse rate, and 90, 95, and 100, which would be high. And now we can see the outliers. The outliers are defined in StatCrunch as being one and a half times the IQR. In SPSS, S, it's gonna be over here, and you can see that if I flip to this next part, you can see that there's a star and asterisk, so there's mild outliers, which is 1.5 times IQR or above Q1 or Q or above Q3, below Q1. And three times the IQR is the stars that's gonna be an extreme outlier. The step crunch just defines outliers as, as a medium or above. So you can see these three points here at the top, there's our 90, 95 and 100. And again, they are more than one and a half times our, our IQR. So here's the IQR that was calculated for us for variable one. And again, I can just edit this and pull out for select that variable two and then click compute again. And now for variable two, we can see here's the min, the max. So we have some outliers in here because the IQR now is seven and seven times 1.5 is 10.5. So anything that's 10.5 above Q3 here, which would be 79.5, would be an outlier. And anything below Q1, one and a half times IQR, which is 10.5, so anything below 51.5 would be an outlier. So again, on the left, you can see the outliers here. There's not enough because the IQR here is six. So for that, it would have to be greater than 77. So that's, again, 1.5 times six, which is nine. So 68 plus nine is 77. So there'd have, this would be anything above 77 would be an outlier or below 53, right? Q1 minus the 1.5 times IQR, which is nine. So anything below 53. So on the left here, we see no outliers, right? The whiskers, again, are the real values in our data set between which there would be no outliers, right? It's really the range of the data. And over here, again, is the range of the data where there's no outliers, and then these dots represent the outlying values. Again, they are 1.5 times the IQR above or below Q1 and Q3, respectively. So this is just a short description of how to compare box plots and histograms. So again, if we go back to our system here, a histogram looks the same. So we can see here is the, the median, the average, right, is occurring about 67. So we can see that when we get a little larger. You can sort of see the same things in the histogram in the box plot. You can see it looks like, oh, there might be some numbers on the outside here, right, that are skewing our data in the directions both away uh, from the average and below. So to, to identify the outliers, though, we have to do a box plot to make sure that none of these are really outliers, which again, in statistical language, is 1.5 times the IQR above and below the quartiles. So we can say things are outliers when it's statistics, it really is, has to mean something mathematically. So again, this is a short way to use StatCrunch, the graph, graphing tab, to make a box plot in StatCrunch, and we can plot out our median, our average, our whiskers, which are the range of data that are not outliers, and then we can also see outliers in our data if they're there.